In this problem, we're asked to look at a um, subset of the set of two-dimensional vectors. Um, specifically, in this case, the ones where the x component is equal to 2 times the y component. So I could just replace the x here uh, with 2y. And so I could express this collection of vectors in this form, um, where the x component is equal to 2y. Um, and, and like I said, so this is a subset of uh, the vectors in R2, which have this form x, y, where um, the first component is just any number and the second component is just any number. Uh, but so W1 narrows it down specifically to the ones where the first component is 2 times the second component. Okay, so giving a couple of examples uh, of vectors that are in W1, we just want anything where the first component is 2 times the second component. So I could start by just filling in whatever I want in the second component and then just put 2 times that uh, for the x component. So this, this is the vector uh, that we get when y is equal to 5. If y is equal to negative 1, let's say, so I make the y component negative 1, I need the x component to be 2 times the y component, so negative 2. Um, and maybe just one more, just for the fun of it. So let's say the y component is 3, so y is 3, x is 2 times y, so that'd be 6. Okay, so there's I examples of vectors that are in W1. Um, a vector that is not in W1 would just be anything where the first component is not 2 times the second component. Uh, so 0, 1 would work because the x component here does not equal 2 times the y component. Um, another example might be uh, 5, negative 3 because again this x component does not equal 2 times the y component. All right, uh, part B here. So if x, y is just any vector in W1, so actually if it's any vector in W1, then that means that this vector u has to have the form 2y, x has to equal 2y, so I'm gonna write it this way. Okay, so there's, a, there's um, just a generic vector that's in W1. Will c times u be in W1 if C is just any number. Uh, so let's look at that. If we uh, let C be any number, B, oops, B, sorry, hold on, let's try this again. Let C be any number, then C times U would be C times this vector 2Y, Y. So when you multiply a scalar times a vector, you just multiply each component by that scalar. And notice here that, well, I'll just write it here the way I was writing it before. This first component is equal to 2 times the second component. So since it does have um, the form that we need for all vectors in W1, then uh, the answer to B is yes c times any vector in w1 will be a vector in w1. Okay, part c. If u and v are both in w, so again, I would write this as um, if u is in w1, then u has the form, so I'll, I'll use the u2 that I had there in the statement of the example, but if it's in W1, then the first component has to be 2 times the second component. So the first component's got to be 2 times U2. Uh, similar thing with V here. If the, if the second component, if we're calling that V2, then the first component, that V1, has to equal 2 times V2. So I'm going to go ahead and write it in that form. That helps simplify things a bit. So if these are two vectors in W, will the sum U plus V necessarily be in W1? Uh, so let's see, u plus v would be 2u2, two u2, two, plus 2v2, two v2 two, v two here. And so to add these vectors, we just add the corresponding components. Um, I'm going to fill in the second component first. So we have u2 plus v2 here, 
and then 2u2 plus 2v2 here. But notice, I mean, I, I could factor out a 2 in the numerator, and so that's 2u2 plus v2 uh, time, sorry, with second component u2 v2. So this vector does have the correct form. The first component is just 2 times the second component. Uh, so yes, u plus v would belong in W1 if u and v belong in W1. Uh, last question, is the zero vector in W? So the zero vector in R2 is this one. And notice that in this case, yes, the first component is 2 times the second component. It does satisfy that requirement to be in uh, W1. So the answer to D is yes, the zero vector, oops, this is supposed to be a vector symbol, sorry, does belong in W1.